Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Keenan, and boy, do I have a banger of a video for you all today. You see, Evtech sent me another care package consisting of the brand new HyperX Quadcast S microphone, the HyperX Haste wireless mouse, and last but not least, the HyperX Vision S camera. One of which I actually get to keep as an upgrade. That being this brand new, lovely Vision S camera. In today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing this brand new camera, giving it a first test run, showcasing its specs, and giving you all a review on it. But first, I'd like to give a shout out to EveTech in collaboration with HyperX for sponsoring today's video. And if you don't know who EveTech is, let me break it down for you. EveTech is a leading name in PCs and laptops, and it's one of the biggest online tech retailers in South Africa, catering to all needs, wants, and budgets. I highly recommend checking them out as I have personally bought pretty much all of my PC upgrades from them. They're affordable and holster a massive catalog. Thank you again to EveTech for sponsoring this video. All right, the time has arrived. Let's get to unboxing this bad boy, shall we? Naturally, I've got my trusty flip knife with me right here on YouTube. Relax, it's just a toy. Speaking of YouTube, if you guys are new here and want to see more of my content, then be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And as always, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated by me. All right, knife box, let's get into it. Got one little slit over there, another one over here, and finally right there as well. Survived. Ooh, baby. I, I, I tore the box already. I am super duper excited for this, by the way, because it's fair to say this is one of the biggest upgrades I've ever gotten. I'll give you a nice little slide out right there. It comes in a lovely little black box, you know, kind of like a like a crashed airplane, except nothing is crap. What am I even saying right now? This box is like really heavy, by the way, not as in it's weighing me down type of heavy, but it, it must be at least a kilogram or so. And for all my American folks, I'll put what a kilogram is up here in pounds or whatever. All right, let me open this up for you all whilst also making sure I don't let anything drop out. Oh, it comes in a little eve tech baggy <laughs> actually i think the person that i regularly communicate with over at eve tech said um it doesn't actually uh, but they needed to make sure the product was fine so they put it in an eve tech baggy that i think that's literally what she said also i can confirm holding both of these in my hands right now that the camera actually weighs the most which is a good thing but uh, it's kind of concerning because I don't know if my camera stand is actually going to be able to hold it, but here's to hoping. As for the rest of the box, it is pretty simple. It is a camera after all. Let's see, you get a nice braided cable right there, which I'll showcase. You also get a quick start guide. Okay, got to have one of those. A little information pamphlet on where to contact HyperX in case you run into any issues. You also get this little HyperX card right here, which has a bunch of text at the back. I'm not going to read through everything, but it basically states, congratulations on joining the hashtag HyperX family. Get ready to experience a whole new world of gaming with HyperX. As a passionate gamer, etc 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 i might just leave that in the description for seo purposes <laughs> and finally at the bottom of the box you get product notices of course no manual again it's not rocket science it's a camera this is actually a really nice high quality braided type c cable it's got the hyperx logo on it and it's more than long enough to reach from your camera to your pc and finally ladies and gentlemen the actual camera itself which I'm now noticing it's not only heavy, but a lot bigger than I expected it to be. Okay, I'm just gonna slide it out. I see it's coming like lens first. It's just like peeking at you. What's up, buddy? Man, it's actually like really long. Wow. That's what she said. <laughs> it's really solid, by the way. This entire thing's made of metal. And then the actual front side, the stand. It's made of plastic on the stand, but it's extremely sturdy. And I mean, you could get some good reach of that. It's got a point there that you're gonna attach it on as well, which is fan this. Th the stand is great. This thing is heavy, okay? This thing is heavy, but the stand is extremely sturdy. It's got rubber padding on it as well. So it doesn't damage in case you put it on your monitor. The bold quality of this is insane, actually. And then the actual type C port also goes in right over if i if my hands can function <laughs> right over there i think i'm gonna go i don't know if you all just heard that but like the little 
I mean, that's not damaging. Again, it's padded. I just like that. That little click is lovely. The time has come though. I'm going to stop my chit chat, plug this in and give it a first test run. It swivels as well, bro. Oh my soul. Yeah, it's perfect. It's per I really know it's perfect. So I've just finished setting up the camera. What you guys are seeing right now is still my old camera. I just moved it off to the side because I don't have, well, two camera mounts. I've never had two cameras on hand before. I made a few adjustments here and there to lighting and exposure and sharpness, etc. But I haven't had a chance to take a good look at what the camera quality is like. So without further ado, wow. Okay, that that that's me in 4K. I don't know if all of the settings and stuff is right yet, but uh, wow. I would be lying right now if I said I wasn't uh, emotional. <laughs> Just seeing this and, and seeing the absolute vast difference uh, between a 720p camera, what I've been using for the last two and a half years, terrible exposure on it, terrible lighting features just the horrible focusing on it and then then you just get this auto compensation auto focus auto exposure same lighting setup as before like just can we just like put like a actual side by side comparison as to what i'm saying right now and just earlier on in this video of what's going Looking back as to where I really started streaming years back on Twitch, before I started YouTube, before I started making videos and stuff, I, I, was, a, I was a Twitch streamer, yes. I just for fun during high school and crappy PC and even worse camera. I had like a 360p camera at the time. Then about two and a half years ago or so at this point, I think I got this camera. Yeah, I got, I got this one. And now I got this man, wow. I didn't have hope back then that I would make it as a creator, but um, HyperX, they've obviously approved for me to acquire this second sponsored segment with EveTech, so they clearly must see something in me that I never saw in myself back then. Roll the cinematics and spec breakdown <laughs> before I have a breakdown. Bro, that's... Wow, okay. <laughs> The HyperX Vision S features 4K video recording at 30 FPS and 1080p video recording at 60 FPS thanks to its Sony Starvis 8 megapixel sensor, alongside a 90 degree field of view capture with responsive autofocus and a scratch resistant lens. It's made out of a durable aluminum body attached to a padded mount which can swivel and tilt so you can capture everything at your desired angle. It comes with a magnetic privacy cover so you can place a physical barrier between you and prying eyes. The camera can also be configured using the HyperX Ingenuity software, allowing you to adjust your framing, toggle autofocus, exposure and white balance alongside several more optimizations. It's fair to say that the Vision S is a work of art. So it's been about two weeks since I received the Vision S, allowing me adequate time to tell you all I don't find anything wrong with this camera. I've been using it to make a bunch of different videos, which speaking of, I do apologize if I sound a little bit different for our various portions of the video. I've been using it to make content on this right here, which is the Quadcast S microphone by HyperX. Another lovely product, by the way. There should be a video coming out on this product within the near future over on the Eve Tech channel. But to stay on topic with the camera, again, I cannot find anything wrong with it. It's extremely high quality well built sturdy it looks elegant and sleek and i think it's fair to say that well the camera quality speaks for itself and i'm extremely excited to start this new journey making a bunch of content and streaming whilst no longer looking like a bunch of pixels roughly put together thank you again to evtech for sponsoring this video and i hope you guys not only enjoyed it but found it to be informative as well again if you guys are new here and want to see more content like this out of me then be sure to hit that subscribe button down below that's gonna be all for this video though i hope you guys have a great day further stay safe out there and much love peace